Hey guys, X here with the Network Tutorials, and today I'm going to go over with you guys how to make a more advanced YouTube background for your channel. I'm going to be using a couple of extra things besides Photoshop, but I'll explain why I'm going to be using them, and if you want to use them, you can, but you do not have to. First off, I'm going to be using um, Action Essentials from Video Copilot. I'm going to be using some cool smoke videos they have there to kind of get a smoke image to implement into my background. I'm going to be using Optical Flares from Video Copilot, which you obviously need, at, well not obviously, some of you probably don't even know what Optical Flares is, but you need After Effects in order to use that, and to get some cool flares, but if you want flares you can also go to Google Images or any other image site and get some, but I prefer the customization of Optical Flares. And next and lastly we're going to be using Cinema 4D to get 3D text, you can also use like 3DS Max or any other 3D software, and that's only if you want 3D text, you do not need 3D text, I just think it looks a little bit nicer, which is why I'm going to be using it. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so, you want to download this file, it should be in the description or below the video on my website, depending on where you're watching this, but it should be somewhere on the page, no matter where you're watching this, unless whoever posted this forgot to upload it or whatever, but hopefully you'll find it. <laughs> Anyways, um, you should get something looking like this, and the first thing I like to do is kind of make a little background that looks nice, so I'm going to choose, what color should I choose? I think I'll go with kind of like a light blue kind of like a darker blue I guess something like that and then come up here to your gradient tool and if you do not see this it should be a paint bucket otherwise just hold and click on it and switch to gradient tool come up here and you're gonna wanna have your gradient set up like this you want the um, two same colors on 25 and 75 and the other color on 50 so basically you want like one color, another color, and then the first color again at 25 and 75, same color. And I don't know, I'm probably confusing you guys right now, but just set your gradient up like this. <laughs> Anyways, what you want to do then is make a new layer, and then you want to um, start on the far left side, click and hold shift, and drag it to the far right side, and let go. You should get something looking like this. Then hit control T to transform it or resize it, and you want to kind of have that light blue or your middle color kind of just stretching out past it I think that looks pretty nice so let's just stretch this out a little bit more something like something like does that look good uh, let's move it a little more this way so that looks pretty good to me actually can we do it a little bit more then move it that way and then move this that way then move it a little bit more over alright that looks pretty good to me, it doesn't have to be perfect alright then what you can do is move this above both layers and change the, uh, no move it above both layers and change it to overlay and that looks nicer in my opinion but you don't have to do that if you don't want to but I think I will and then now that we have our basic layout done we're going to go to Cinema 4D and make our 3D text so you want to come to this little squiggly line with a plus symbol in between the green and blue squares or cubes and come to text and then you want to type your text in here so I'll just type TNT for the network tutorials and then you want to change your font probably so I'm going to change mine to a bold one so I'll just pick the first bold one I see which is black oak STD eh, I don't know I'm assuming that's a default font because I don't have ever downloaded that font but you want more of a bold font because that'll look nicer with this effect that I'm going to show you, but yeah, as you can see it is not 3D, so we're going to make it 3D right now. Click and hold on this green square and change it to extrude nerbs, and then drag the text under extrude nerbs, you should have a little down arrow like that. And if you hit 3 and then click, you can kind of move around, and you can see that it is 3D right now, but it's pretty thin, so we're going to make it a little bit wider, so come to extrude nerbs. And where it says movement, the third one says 20 centimeters, make that something like 80 or so. And now if we move around, you can see it's a lot thicker and looks a lot nicer in my opinion. So yeah, next up is going to be making a cool effect, because this looks nice and all for 3D, but we're going to make it look a little bit nicer, in my opinion at least. So what we're going to do is hit Control c on Extrude Nerds to copy it, and hit Control v to paste it, so we're basically duplicating it. And then on the top one, you want to change the movement, the third one, to half of whatever you chose the first one to be. So mine was 80, so I want half of that, which is 40. Hit OK. And then if you kind of move up, uh, you can see not much has changed, but we want to first center this, uh, the one we just shortened up. You want to make it kind of in the center, so like that. 
And then what you want to do is on the top one that's shorter and in the center, you want to come over here to Caps right next to Object and change the Start to Fillet Cap and the End to Fillet Cap. And as you can see, we have this nice little outline border type thing that's kind of like in more, so it looks pretty nice in my opinion. So now let's add some color. Just come down here and double click, and then double click on the material you just made. And I guess we'll make this white, and then we'll kind of make it shiny white. Drag that out onto the first one. Okay, I made that clear on accident. We're going to fix that. We'll just delete this and make a new one, I suppose. Um, I guess we'll choose normal white, I guess. Sure. White, and then for the next one we'll choose black. And we'll make it... No, we don't want transparency. We want reflection. If we want to make it kind of a shiny black color... And then come up to color and make these all dark as well. So now we have kind of a shiny black and we'll apply that to the bottom one. And for some reason, I don't know why, but this gets affected by like what angle you're on. Maybe if we apply a light, that might look nice. Light. Okay. So I'm just going to try to kind of put this in a spot that makes it look nice. Um, sure, we'll just keep it centered up like that. That looks pretty good. Alright, so now we have this cool little text effect that's 3D, come up here to File, Export, 3D, st ah, crap, File, Export, 3D Studio, and we'll just call this 3D Text for Tut, hit OK, come to your desktop or wherever you saved it to, drag it out into your Photoshop thing, like so, and now we can kind of rotate it around, sure place. Okay, never mind. Hit Control Z. Um, when you drag it in, you have to rotate it before you place it. Sorry. So you want to come to the Rotate tool. Don't place. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. We'll just open in a new Photoshop document. I guess that'll probably be easier. So where is it? Where is it? 3D text for Tut. Now we can just rotate it freely. So we'll kind of put it on an angle. Kind of rotate it this way. And then we'll rotate it a little bit more this way, so you can kind of see the 3D effect. Alright, that looks good. Hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy, come back here and paste. hit Control V to paste. Then we're going to hit Control T to transform, so we can kind of rotate it. That looks good. We'll place that right there. Alright, so next up is we're going to make a flare. So come to your After Effects, Composition, New Composition, OK new layer, I'll just make a solid, we'll make, it doesn't matter what color then come to effect video copilot optical flares and now you come up here to options and you can choose a flare I'm going to just use a preset, uh, motion graphics and we'll use cool flare okay then you want to come up to composition uh, save frame as file you want to make sure it's 1280 by 720 and you want it to be a PNG sequence. Hit OK. And then we're going to save this as Flare for Tut. And then render it out. Alright. Come back to the desktop. Take Flare for Tut and drag it into our Photoshop thing. Alright. Control T to transform it again. Rotate it. Hold Shift so it locks to, er, locks to like the 90 degree angle. Drag it over here and change the transfer mode to screen. And then you just kind of drag it right below your text. And as you can see, it kind of has this weird border on it. So we're going to come to the eraser tool and kind of fix that. Uh, first, you have to rasterize the layer by right clicking and hit rasterize. And then kind of just start erasing this so it kind of looks a little bit more natural. Uh, I kind of messed that up pretty bad. You always want to make sure you kind of let go when you're erasing part of it so you don't have to redo all of it. So make sure you erase in like increments. There we go. That looks pretty good. We'll just erase this side a little bit more then. So we're just kind of trying to touch this up so it looks a little bit nicer. Well, you don't need that little bit right there. Alright, so that looks pretty good. 
Next up, this side is looking a little blank, so what we're going to add is that cool smoke t that I was talking about earlier, so just come to like... I'm going to be using, what is this, Quick Time Player, I think, and this is just a video from um, Action Essentials of some smoke. So I'm going to come up here to File... No, not File. Edit, Copy, and then come back to Photoshop and paste it in. Transform this and rotate it. Change the transform mode to Screen and kind of just place it over here move it over just a tiny bit alright that looks good and then we're also going to add a cool little creeper from minecraft just to kind of make it look even a little bit more exciting over here so we'll just size him up and have him be chilling oh you have to rasterize oh crap hit control z you want to make a new layer for this and paste it in or not paste it in but drag it in i should say sorry about that so now let's size him up, drag him over. Let's see, we kind of want him right there. That looks pretty good. So there we go. That's our kind of advanced background. You can obviously do more with it and add more effects, customize it however you want, but I kind of like it how it is. So yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.